Hello, my name's Steve Flower. I'm the sales manager here at Paxman in London. I'm here today with Tim Jones, who is not only a director of Paxman, um, but principal horn in the London Symphony Orchestra, both positions he's held for a number of years. Um, we're here today to talk about Paxman horns, and in particular the Merriweather system. The Merriweather system is, was designed and is named after Dick Merriweather, who came over from Australia in the 1950s, worked in collaboration with Bob Paxman, and his system underpins all of our professional French horns. Tim's going to talk about that in some more detail, and in particular how he feels it helps him in his playing as principal horn in the London Symphony Orchestra. Over to you, Tim. Thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, I have been involved with Paxman for a long time, since 1977, in fact. Um, I came to work here at T-Boy, I was a student, um, and Dick was still alive then, very much in his pomp, so it's, it's nice to be able to talk about his legacy uh, so many years later. So I'm here today just to talk about the, the, the Model 20, um, which is our mainstay of our, of our double horn range. Um, it was a unique design when Dick designed this, it wasn't a copy of any other design that was around at this time. Um, and it features one of the most important aspects of, of Dick's philosophy was to have a horn where the airflow through the valve section, i.e. the one, two and three valves, was going in the same direction on both sides of the instrument. So, for example, of this horn, so the air comes in here, or 20 in it, it's going through the valve section on both sides of the instrument, that's the B-flat side, and the S side in this direction, as opposed to um, some horns where you've got the airflow going one way on the B flat and one way on, on the, the um, F side. That was a key feature for Dick. Uh, it, in that it helps airflow on both sides of the instrument and, in my opinion, it makes it easier to get from one note to the next. And one of the reasons for that, I think, is that um, also, sorry, before I should go on to that, it's that the, on all Patsman horns, the valves turn in the all, all in the same direction, but in the with the airflow, and that that is an imp also an important feature because for, for me that enables me to get from one note to the next quite easily. And on a lot of horns, you get this sort of sound when you I'm blowing really hard there, but we do. It quite quietly on the patsman, you don't get this pop, which is saliva going across the valve port. You don't get that so much because the valves are turning with the airflow, and that makes it easier to get from note to note. And also one of the features I think is actually slurring on a patsman horn, for me, it, it, it is easy. And then um, finally, having independent F and B flat tuning slides. A lot of horns don't have a B flat tuning slide, they just have a, a main tuning slide and an F tuning slide. So in order to tune, you have to tune up the, the B flat horn first and then tune the F horn. But on the platinum horn, it's independent. You can tune up the B flat horn, tune up the F horn. And actually, you don't really need the main tuning slide at all. So they're the key features. Hope that's been of some help. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.